Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and I have some fantastic news. Uh, that news is that I have installed, purchased, and installed a new RTX 360 Ti graphics card. I just could not uh, justify paying for a, uh, a 3080, which is what I kind of wanted. Uh, so I paid way too much money <laughs> for a 3060 Ti. And um, yeah, so hopefully performance uh, of the, the game will be better uh, in the videos. I know some of my past videos, performance wasn't all that great. Uh, <coughs> you know, kind of framey, choppy, freezy, that sort of thing. And so now with this upgraded graphics card, hopefully things will be much better. Now I currently have the settings turned up to ultra everything is just full bore and i'm going to just see what it does and then if, if you know if we have some issues we'll start to tone some things down so uh and I'll, you know all if we do have major issues i'll work on that off off camera you know to get it fine-tuned but um i figured i'd ha you know take you with me for for the very first run on the new graphics card um and also you know to see the next prospect okay so let's uh, go ahead and select our single player character uh, by the way, I did do a live stream on Saturday the 19th, February 19th, in which we finished the, um, fix that for a second. Uh, we fixed the, uh, or finished the Arctic Expedition, um, prospect. Uh, so, uh, you'll want to catch that live stream, um, before you watch this video, if you want to see how that ended okay so i will include it in the playlist uh, once it gets uh it comes around once you know the other videos are caught up to it uh, but we did live stream that on saturday again february 19th <coughs> so we finished that and if we go into the workshop i have purchased um let's claim rewards wait a minute no death ray scan i didn't do death ray scan what hold on Uh, well, actually, I did death ray scan on the multiplayer. Wait a minute. Am I the wrong character? No, I'm on, I'm on my level 58 single player character. Does that stuff cross over all, across all your players? I don't think so, because I only have the 25 currency. Uh, okay, I'm a little confused. I'm not sure. Here, hold on. Let's back up for a second. Let's go to the workshop. And yeah, this is old guy. This is my level 58 single player character. So I'm not sure. Oh, does it, does everything we buy from the workshop apply to all characters? I didn't know that it looks like it does. I thought it was unique to each character. How about that? Okay. So anyway, we have the oxygen tank and the canteen. Cause a lot of you guys were telling me, you know, get those first. And it does make sense because when we land on the planet, we can start uh, using them immediately. And then uh, we did a, a multiplayer live stream a little bit later on in the day. And I unlocked an MXC pickaxe uh, so that I can eventually work up, you know, to the really good pickaxes up there. But it looks like this stuff does carry over across my characters. And I just, I wasn't aware of that. Let me look at something. If I go back to my other character, he should have 125 credits from the finishing the death ray mission let's let's take a look okay our 150 credits okay so yeah we'll claim that reward and yeah we can just delete that so okay so so this guy our, our level 22 multiplayer character our og character has 175 credits so if we go back to um here and choose our single player level 58 guy does he also have those credits? He does. Oh, wow. I did not know that that's the way it worked. I thought it was exclusive to each character that you roll. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Okay. So let's, well, okay, but here's the thing, though. My other guy's got the pick, and I don't have the pick here. I only have these two things. Is it because... I still have to craft it, even though I've unlocked it. So maybe the unlock applies to all characters, but the actual crafting applies to each individual character. Yeah, see? Okay. Well, let's do that then. That, that must be how it works. So the research applies across all characters, but the actual crafting of the item has to be done 
by each individual character. That's really interesting. Okay. So fine. Well and fine then. So, okay. So we have 150, um, but these guys are 300 to research and then 100 to obtain. So we could, we could go with the ax or we could go with the knife over here. Um, and the main advantage of getting this knife now is that it'll allow me to skin higher level animals immediately without having to first get to the iron knife. Um, so th there is that option. I really like the idea of these better backpacks though, too. Um, so we'd have to research Gustav's S5 Enviro suit. Uh, has an extra oxygen slot, an extra food slot, and water slot, and five physical resistance. This is what we've currently have equipped. This is five physical, a module slot, oxygen and water. Five physical, a this adds a food slot. This adds a module slot. Okay. Otherwise, they're the same otherwise. I just said that. Otherwise, they're the same otherwise. But it looks like I have to unlock this in order to get to these backpacks. So this gives us movement speed. It gives us six more inventory slots, 25% falling resistance, 50% chance to avoid sprains, and less 50% uh, less durations when you do get a sprain. Okay, what's this give us? Here, let me scroll down a little bit more here. Six slots, 25% reload speed with bows and crossbows. So that's totally bows. It doesn't count with rifles. Minus 45% carry weight on ores and wood. Ooh, wow. That would be really good to get. Yeah, that would be super, super duper really good to get, wouldn't it? Okay. Um, we'll keep that in mind. I think I want to maybe save my points and keep gunning for these better picks because having these picks right from the get-go is super useful. Of course, having the knife too, but I mean, it doesn't take us that long to get to the iron knife and we're usually not trying to skin higher level animals super early on anyway. First cohort and viro suit. Huh, cool. So I think, I think I'm going to sit on these points and wait until we get more points and then go for one of these two picks and I'll figure out at the time which pick that will be okay so we figured that out let's go back here so in our loadout we want to definitely bring the mx pick with us mxc pick with us and now it's time for us to choose our next prospect okay so in our multiplayer stream we did both dry run expedition which was a lot of fun uh which opened up then you know the death ray scan and basically the desert to us and it also leads eventually to uh, payday extraction which we eventually want to get to um <coughs> we also did strange harvest bio research which we were able to do very quickly um this is the one that i just did or finished searchlight scan Deep vein extraction. That's only a one day deal. Locate and harvest exotics vein. Um, my understanding too is because it's hardcore. If we don't, if we don't do this in the time limit, then uh, we lose our character. I believe that's what happens. I'm not sure if I'm ready to risk that quite yet. We could do searchlight scan. Gather glacier geodata for new drop zones. All right, so that's just going to be another scan, and then we get rushed by creature kind of thing, most likely. Solid metal hard stockpile. That looks like a desert one, too, which we can actually do now. Well, yeah, because I've actually unlocked this from the multiplayer, even though I did it on the other guy. Very interesting. Okay. So we need to make a decision as to which one of these we're going to do. Next. Boy, I don't know, man, if I want to risk unlocks manual exotic mining on all missions. I don't know if I want to risk that. I mean, I have no idea what you have to do in that mission. Headstone geo survey, perform high density geotectonic scans, perform high density geotectonic scans. That, that one's hardcore. This one's only five hours. Oh, my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I'm not ready for to be seriously rushed like that. So we finished Kill List Extermination. This is Kill List Hard Extermination. 
I don't know. Is that this the big bad wolf again, or is that something different? I'm not sure. Uh, we did agricultural supply stockpile on the multiplayer, and man, uh, it was it was kind of long and boring to be honest with you. Uh, that's one I might even potentially just completely do off camera if I do it at all on this series, because it, guys, it's it's just you just got to gather a bunch of stuff, and if you really want to, you know, see it, we uh we started that last Saturday afternoon. Uh, so that would have been on the, the 12th, I think. And then we finished it last night, Friday on this, uh, on the 18th. So I don't know. I'm not sure I want to, want to do that one again, actually. It wasn't super, super enjoyable. It was okay, I guess, but not super enjoyable. So anyway, I got to make a decision. You know, um, I really actually liked dry run expedition. It was kind of fun. And, you know, we rushed through it on multiplayer um, if I do with this, I did it on single player, I'd t take my time a little more. Um, but I kind of want to do something I haven't done yet. So I'm thinking maybe we do searchlight scan. So that's going to be another Arctic mission. Since we're kind of doing desert stuff on multiplayer, that doesn't mean I'm not going to do desert stuff on single player either. I am, but I'm just, you know, trying to be somewhat, uh, uh, what's the word, you know, spreading things out. Uh, across my two players essentially so yeah what the hell let's do let's go ahead and try search light scan it's a seven day mission it's only a one skull so it should be relatively easy i guess and yeah let's try it out they're keen to open up new regions for prospecting so they're looking for terrain scans before they start dropping folk out of the sky sound like you yeah okay so it's the same kind of idea Take radar scans of three essential locations and then get rushed by a bunch of animals each time. <laughs> um, so we've already done this kind of mission, but it uh, I'm assuming it's going to be, yeah, it's going to be in the snow biome. So it's the same kind of thing. We'll get 150 credits for doing it. So yeah, let's do it. Okay. And we already got our loadout set up. So let's confirm that. And this is just going to be me, myself, and I, and let's go. All right. Let's see how our... New graphics card is going to perform on maximum ultra settings. I seriously, like I said, I turned everything just up to max just to see if it can handle it. You know, it's a 3060 Ti. It's supposed to handle ray tracing and all that. So I got all that stuff turned on and we'll see how it does. <coughs> but they can't do it alone. They need detailed terrain data from this region if they're going to open it up to prospecting. They want to fill the place with dropships, if you know what I mean. So grab a radar, check your map for locations, and head out. Okay, where are we exactly? We're in the same exact area we were before. Doggone it. Okay. All right, so with maximum settings, I am getting some stuttering going on here. Or I'm, I should say with ultra settings. Okay, so I'm going to have to... I'm going to have to work with this a little bit, guys, and try and get the performance a little bit better. I mean, it looks just amazing, but I'm still getting, you know, some freezes and some popping and stuff like that. So let me uh, let me work on this a bit, and I'll bring you back in just a while. All right, guys, I'm back, and um, I went ahead and set everything everything pretty much to high, and then made a couple of other adjustments. Uh, when I'm not running OBS, and when I'm not recording, I can run the game on Epic and have pretty good performance. But when I'm recording, I notice that it's just a little bit less, as you know, not quite as good. And, you know, high still looks absolutely gorgeous. Uh, so we just set everything to high. Uh, if you're curious, what I basically did was I set um, I set this to high. Um, well, I set overall to high. But I, uh, let's see, what did I do? I turned off. I turned off. Where is... Oh yeah, I turned off V-Sync. Um, and I had, yeah, I had this PCF on, 
and you're and and you're supposed to use this if you're not using DLS. So when I changed it to PCSS, I noticed that it improved uh, performance quite a bit. Uh, so basically, I'm running high settings, but with PCSS on and with VSync off. Uh, otherwise, I think everything else is pretty much set to high. I do have um, I do have volumetric clouds off because I don't spend time looking at the sky. So I'd rather have better performance down on the ground. And I think that's uh, it. So we got ray tracing on, global illumination, and we'll try that and see how it goes. It's definitely uh, better than the, the 1080 card. I can I can tell tell a big difference um, just between you know the 1080 and the 3060 Ti. But of course that's to be expected. Okay, so anyway, let's get to business here. So we are pretty much in the same region we were before. Uh, we're just going to go here. We're going to pick up a scanning device, and then it's going to send us to three spots in the Arctic to scan. We're going to get rushed by animals, probably polar bears and wolves and stuff. And so that being the case, uh, I think I'm going to want to uh, level up to the point, again, you know, that I have my rifle with me. But we don't really need necessarily to be in this little valley. I don't like this valley simply because there's a lot of bears in it, A, uh, which is not a problem once we do geared up, geared up, get geared up, but it's a bit of a pain in the butt in the very early game. And B, there's no lake. So I think I'm going to run up this little valley here, in, uh, or run up this little corridor. There's another, a larger valley up here with a lake in it, um, so that we can, you know, build a, a quick base near the lake and, um, yeah, do that. Okay, so let's uh, start working that direction. Now, uh, I do have my workshop canteen. And my workshop O2, which of course isn't going to do us any good until I can fill it up. And we have our uh, workshop uh, pick, which is equivalent to an iron pick. Okay, so um, the only thing I'm really going to do in this valley, just real quick, like is, you know, we'll grab a little oxide because we're going to need that until we can make an oxide dissolver. And... Um, we can't get any water until we get to the stream up in the corridor. And we should probably make some real basic stone tools, too, because running through that corridor is a little bit risky. There's bears and wolves and hogs and nasty stuff that wants to eat us. Okay, so we got a little bit of oxide there. Let's put that in there. Um, thank God we don't have to use that stupid uh, stone pick, man. So we're going to get uh, a little stone to make the stone axe, stone knife, stone arrows, just to get us started, but we won't have to do it for very long, of course. And uh, let's get some fiber here. Yeah, this valley, uh, it's uh, it's a bit dangerous in the very, very early game until, you know, until you get at least a decent bow. You know, once I get a... A long bow and at least bone arrows. I'm a little more comfortable, but up until that point, I'd rather not tangle with bears if I don't have to. And the problem is there's so many of them around here that sometimes you don't have a choice. Okay, so we got that done. Can we make a stone axe? Yes, we can. Let's do that. Uh, we need some sticks to make the, uh, the wooden bow. So let's grab a few sticks from some saplings. And, you know, this is, again, going to be kind of the same thing as the previous mission. I'll keep you with me for the first episode, and then I'll just, you know, build up off camera, and then when we go to do the actual mission, uh, we'll bring it back. So we might be able to knock this a prospect out in, like, two episodes. We'll see how it goes. Okay, so let's make this, and let's make this. We'll put the bow in two, that in one. Let's make ourselves a little batch of stone arrows. Stone arrows. Where, wherefore art thou, stone arrows? There you go. Just to get us started here. Okay, and then I'm just going to make the cheap torch for now until we can make the better torch. So we have a source of light that we can put in our light slot. Okay, we can keep that off for now. Okay, I think we're good to go. Uh, let's start working our way uh, up the corridor and into the larger valley with the lake. We'll eat some berries so we can get that buff. Uh, might as well pick some of this up. We are going to need a little 
sulfur. So let's just grab a little bit. We don't need to grab a ton of it. Um, actually, we mostly need that to make this better torch. So let's just do that now. Okay. But what we'll do is we'll use we'll use up the crappy one first, and then we'll replace it with a little bit better one. Okay. We could kill that wolf and start getting some bones and hide. I'm um, just watching out for bears. Okay. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Didn't we shoot him right in here? Where in the heck did that wolf go? He, he disappeared. We were right over here. And he was walking right by this tree, I thought. I do not see his body anywhere. Sometimes they... Sometimes they can fly a little bit. Uh, you know, like get knocked out of the area, but... I have no idea where that wolf body went. All right, well, uh, we don't have all day looking for him, uh, to look for him, so let's just can't. Oh, there he is! I was on the wrong tree. <laughs> okay, fair enough. Fair enough. It's on the wrong doggone tree. All right, let's get some bones here. Can we make a bone kniffy? Uh, we need a little bit more wood. We'll start with the bone knife, and then we'll make some bone arrows when we kill a few more animals. Okay, so let's make that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fast track this one just because it's the same. Like I said, it's the same exact area we were in before. Um, but just because we're going into the Arctic and we are almost certainly gonna have to deal with polar bears. Uh, I want to make sure we at least have the rifle. So we're going to work up to getting the rifle. Got a buffalo there, but we can't skin a buffalo with a bone knife. So we have to wait till we get the iron knife. Uh, okay, we can get this deer and there is a bear way over there. I was, <laughs> I was aiming for the bigger deer. All right, well, let's get these other ones and be careful of Mr. Bear and Mr. Boar. Okay. What is that? Oh, that's a pig, like, leaping through the air. It's a pretty acrobatic pig there. Okay. Now, we should be able to make some bone arrows. Uh, what's that? That's a deer. Okay. Okay, here comes another deer. Uh, let's switch to the bone arrows. I'm actually going to keep the stone arrows for now because I can use them for fishing. This is the same first cave we went into in the last prospect. So we will be going back in there. To oh, there's the bear right there. Uh, we will be going back in there, too, but not right now. All right. What are you going to do, man? I don't know what level it is. I'd rather not mess with him right now. If we have to, we have to. But if we don't, we don't, right? Okay, let's see if we can sneak past him. Oh, 
Oh, damn it. I keep getting stuck between the rock and the cliff. It's like getting stuck between a rock and a hard place. All right, let's grab a, dr a quick drink here. Fill up our canteen. Yeah, leave the bear behind. Okay. So as I'm getting into this thicker tree area, I am getting a little bit of screen freezing business going on. But it could be partially do, just due to things loading in. I mean, you know, if I have to if I have to tweak with it some more, I can I can certainly do that. So we'll see how things go. Okay, so we're at this lake. It's a decent sized lake, plenty of fish. And so yeah, I think what we could do. We could build our base up on this little flat plateau place. That should work. Um, and again, it's just going to be our basic 3x4 that we've been doing. And yeah, okay. So let's, uh, let's get busy with that. And we're going to build a wood house again and then just upgrade to... Or not, we're not even going to upgrade it. We're going to... Well, yeah, we could actually upgrade it. Yeah, maybe we'll do that. Last time I built the little shack away from the build site and then just built the stone house, but we could actually just upgrade. Oh, let's grab these now and just take those and another one of those for a little bit of a buff action. I'm going to build a fire pit so we can use it for, for temporary storage, and then we'll get busy with... Uh, some mining. Okay. So let's grab ourselves some stone here. Yeah, when I get here, let me look at something real quick. If I go to here. Yeah, okay, I've got an eight, this card's an eight gig, so that's set to high, so that's right. What if we turned off ray tracing and global illumination? Huh, I don't know. I'll, I'll have to tweak, I'll have to tweak with it some more. It's not bad. I mean, it, it is, it's a definite improvement over the 1080. I can tell that, you know, just right out of the box, so to speak, but it's not absolutely perfectly smooth either. And the thing is, is, you know, you got to remember, I'm, I'm not only running the game, but I'm also running OBS and recording this uh, so that, you know, I've got a little extra strain going on in the machine than a player who's not recording a video would. So... Got to kind of take that into account. But like I said, it is definitely much improved. You have to get 100 stone in order to make the pit. Okay, so we got that. Let's make the fire pit. And we can actually just use this fire pit once we uh, actually build the base too. So we're going to build the base up here. Let's put the fire pit maybe down here for the moment. Okay, good enough. We're going to put just about everything in here for now. We'll cook up that meat. Uh, let's keep our oxygen thing in there until I can make the oxide dissolver. That bear sounds like he's moving this way. No, we're just going to have to keep an eye on him. All right, so let's get to chopping some wood. And I want to make this because uh, we're going to need to gather a decent amount of fiber for to make the wood building, and then we will upgrade it to stone as we go along. 
Okay, so, um, let's see. What are we looking for? Uh, we need a little leather and some fiber and some wood. So let's get this tree here. Yeah, I had a lot of had a lot of fun today on the multiplayer stream uh, going into the desert for the first time. And we will definitely be doing some uh, desert prospects too uh, in this series. You know, that wood is looking kind of grainy. Well, it's not really the wood so much with the shadows. Oh man, that bear is just freaking making me nervous. Alright. Mother, where are you? Where are you and what level are you? I got bone arrows. I just don't want him sneaking up on us when we're trying to do stuff, you know? Oh, he's right up the stream here. If we could get a decent sneaky headshot off on him, we should be able to drop him. I'm stuck, man. I can't freaking move. Where are you at, bear? You know, the thing about it, though, is even if I do kill him, another one's going to just spawn right in. Alright, well, let's just keep going then. Like I said, if he, if he gets all the way over here and messes with us, then we'll deal with him at that point. It just sounded like he was getting really close, like uncomfortably close. Um, okay, we need to put uh, some wood in here. Uh, let's keep this. Yeah, we'll keep that wood. And we need wood and fiber, right, to make stuff? Yeah. So let's make the sickle, because that'll help us get a little more fiber a little more quickly. Also, speaking of which, let's make a few bandages. Um, maybe we'll make, like, three of these for the moment. I want to make at least one suture kit, too, if we can. Especially if we have to tangle with a bear. Oh, we can make eight of those. Okay, let's make five. And we'll put that there and that there in their usual spots. Okay, let's get some more wood. Okay, let's see if this is enough to get us started here. Oh, we needed to get some fiber, too. Uh, let's put that in slot seven. We'll go over this way. Uh, we're going to need to start with some wood beams. Uh, I don't know how many of these I'm going to need. We're going to need one, two, one, two, three, four. And then uh, I think we're going to need 16 of these, maybe. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. We'll see. Okay, do I have a little bit of meat in here? Yes, I do. Look at that. In fact, let's get all of that on our toolbar. And we can also use it for healing food in addition to food food. OK, 
Okay, let's grab these. And we will put the first one... Let's see, which direction do we want to face? Since this is kind of the the natural ramp up to the house, I think we want to kind of face to the east, basically. All right, so we'll put that one there, that one there, and this one here. Uh-oh. Where did that... Did that one go on the ground? Oh, no, it's right here. Okay. Come on. There you go. Okay. Now we need to make 12 floors. Yeah, 12 floors. We only make seven, so we're going to need more materials. We're probably going to take a little bit of exposure damage, but not too, too terribly worried about it. We actually are going to need uh, another one more set of pulls too, if this is going to be a three by four. Um, I'm almost wondering if I should have moved it over a little bit. But what we could, what we could maybe do if we wanted to, is make a little deck out here. Yeah, we'll just let's just leave it where it is. We're not going to be here for a real long time, so I don't want to put too terribly much blood, sweat, and quick tears into this. All right, we got good fiber. We just need more wood. Let's grab this tree because it's probably going to get knocked down anyways. So we might as well do the knocking and get the XP. Okay, so we need to make four more posts. And then we're going to need to make six more floors. Come on. Do it. Do it. Sometimes this can be a real finicky system. Though, I do like it overall, though. Uh, no. You were just there, buddy. Get back. Eh, eh. There we go. Okay. Okay, so we got the floor down. Very good. Now what we're going to need to do... Um, well, let's make a firewagger and a repair hammer before we do anything else. Just so we have it ready to go. So there's a whack-a-doodle and a repair-a-doodle. And we'll keep that... Oh, yeah. Okay, we'll keep the repair hammer in three and the wackadoodle in four for now. Okay. Now we need to make start making walls. So how many of these can I make at the moment? Only three. Once again, we're going to need more wood. All right, let's make some walls. Uh, we have three. Oh, we're going to need... <coughs> Excuse me. 8, 19, 11, 12, 13, 14 in total. So we have 3. So yeah, 11 more. That's exactly what we need. Okay. Uh, so this will be a window. And we'll do our usual uh, double window there. I think... 
Yeah, we'll, we'll just make those solid walls. Again, we don't need to get super fancy with this. This is not a super fancy build. This is a practical, get-her-done build. Alright, now let's do a doorway here. And regular walls for the rest of them. Excellent. Okay, now um, let's make a ramp. And we have more ceilings. I'm just going to do a flat roof to start, but I'll probably um, upgrade that to... Minor showers, okay. I'll probably upgrade that to a um, an angled roof later. We'll see. Or maybe I won't this time. I just, like I said, I really don't want to spend a lot of time on this prospect. Because it's sort of kind of the same old, same old. We've done this kind of mission before A and B. We've we just got out of the same general vicinity, so it's not a whole lot of new. But I want to finish it, of course, you know, to get the the points from the workshop. Okay, we gotta get some more wood. Let's go do it. Wood for the roof. Wood for the stairs. Okay, stairs are in place. Get the roof on. All right, now we need a door. And we got the door. Okay, let's go pick up our fire pit. Excellent, excellent. All right, we can put the fire pit. Um, Let's stick it in the corner here, I guess. And can we make a bedroll? Yes, we can. Let's do that so we can sleep through the night. We'll just stick this right here for now. And it is now morning. Okay, good. The storm is almost done. And next thing, of course, we want to do is build ourselves a crafting station. So we need some more stone for that. Okay, um, let's make our cloth armor to start with. Is that, that should be putting it on us, right? Okay, we got the feet and the chest. Looks like we need to get some more fiber. Okay, crafting station. Uh, let's put that right here. I kind of have a an arrangement now that I've been using. And then next thing we want is an oxide dissolver so we can get our air tank filled up and then we'll be in good shape. <coughs> oh, you know what? I don't think I set this as my spawn point. Now I did. It's an important thing to remember to do. All right, we'll put the oxide dissolver. I usually put that in this corner. And we need a little sulfur and a little oxide in there. And then we can put our... Uh, where is our air can? Oh, I mean air tank. It's right here. Okay, obviously we're going to need a lot more oxide and sulfur to fill that all the way up. But at least we'll get it started. All right, you guys. Well, I think um, this is probably a good place for us to wrap up the first episode. You know the drill. I'm going to uh, work it up until I have a rifle, a uh, shotgun and a rifle. I'm, I'm, I don't think we need to go into Tier 4 at all, except for we do need to make the Tier 4 uh, fabricator in order to make the good rifle. Um, but we won't do any other Tier 4 stuff. Uh, and then, you know, when I get all that done, 
and we're ready to go do the actual mission. I will bring you guys back for the second episode, and I'm, I see no reason why we can't knock this out uh, in the second episode and then move on to bigger and better things. Okay, so thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share the video, and we will catch you in the next episode. Bye-bye.